stores as possible during this down economy. Who could blame them? That's right. It's been a rough couple of years. But. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, it's been a rough winter here. We've talked about that a lot, right? A rough? Why yeah. is it rough? It's a well, bleak it's, midwinter. It's, it's, no, no, it's, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. I okay. love it. Every ounce, every flake. Look, I'm all about fallen. sledding and snowmobiling okay. and ice fishing, love but it. come on. All I wanted to Bring say it on. was it's someone else's turn. You know, the Vikings, oh. of course, getting, <laughs> you know, having to rearrange schedules here. Europe getting a lot of snow last week. Well, it's the East Coast tonight, and uh, I have a friend in New York who just sent this picture. Okay. Right, let's see, let's see it. Let's see it. From let's New York. It. It's not do captivating, it. but do you can it. tell no, that yeah, it's no. snowing there. And I was there earlier this week, and there was no <laughs> snow on the ground at all. They haven't had any snow this year. And now they're getting, they're not easing into it. They're getting over a foot of snow in New York overnight tonight into tomorrow. Blizzard warnings, thanks to the wind there also. And they're not even getting the worst. Some spots a little further up towards Boston and uh, into uh, upstate New York could see over 20 inches of fresh snow. So this is a good old-fashioned nor'easter. They get a lot of snow out of that. And uh, it's going to be a mess there. And it's not that they can't handle snow. This is a legit storm. Uh, yes, we get some snow too, but their storms are often bigger than ours when they get that nor'easter. Take a look at some of the amounts we're expecting up the eastern seaboard there. Uh, 20 inches plus for some areas just inland of the coast, but you can see that whole pink and purple area from almost D.C. all the way up the coast there will get up to 10 to 20 inches of snow tonight and tomorrow, plus all that wind blowing, so hence blizzard warnings all up and down the northeast coast for tonight and tomorrow. 24 degrees, our high temperature today, a quiet day and right about normal for temperatures. Seven the low this morning, 13 right now. The temperatures are dropping under clear skies. You wouldn't know it though. Driving around right now, we do have some fog out there, some reduced visibilities, under a half mile at times at the airport. Most of the metro, anywhere between a half mile, you might get into a low spot. It dips even less than that. And then some of us up to three, four miles. Crystal, Blaine, up to three, four mile visibility right now. So we are going to have that fog on and off through the night tonight. Still some moisture trapped in the lower atmosphere. We've got the clear skies, light winds, all the ingredients to produce that fog tonight. And of course, that snow just keeps moisture here in the lower atmosphere. 13 here, 15 in Brainerd, 5 in Mora. So it is chilly out here. One even in Pipestone. It's going to go sub-zero again across southwestern Minnesota. But the coldest of this air is sitting on top of us, that cool high over us. That's why the winds are light. And as that pushes eastward, you get that clockwise flow. We're going to start to see a southerly flow develop tomorrow. Already actually even have a very light southeast breeze right now. But that's going to push temperatures up close to 30 Wednesday. Should be well into the 30s. Uh, maybe even near 40 here by Thursday and Friday. And that's why the next system is going to be mostly the way it looks right now. That could change, but mostly in the form of rain as we head into late Thursday into Friday and Saturday. For now, just a couple of clouds across Minnesota, but you can see off to the west, clear skies. We're going to see lots of sunshine tomorrow in the next few days, so nice quiet stretch here. The jet stream changes here. Uh, zonal flow, that's a mild flow for us west to east, pushing north of us. That means temperatures warming up again into the 30s here for mid to late week. So that's the warmest we've been this month. A nice little thaw here to get rid of a little bit of snow. The inch of rain or so, maybe not a great thing. Partly cloudy tonight, chilly with some fog and temperatures dropping into the single digits again. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. Right around normal again for temperatures, low to mid 20 south winds at 6 to 12. And as we head into Tuesday, upper 20s, 30 Wednesday, well into the 30s, Thursday and Friday. Again, we could be near 40 degrees for high temperature. The first round of moisture could move in as late or as early as Thursday night with this next storm. We'll dub it the New Year's Eve storm because that'll be the worst of it probably. Friday evening, rain. And then at some point Friday night, as colder air moves in, changing to a little bit of snow. But it does look as though, guys, we're going to see ma mainly rain out of this storm. So... I thought you were going to say mainly rain, rain in Spain. The rain yes. falls mainly, yeah. Right. You're going to have to come up with a better name than New Year's Eve storm or New Year's. Well, we've used Snowmageddon and I know. Snowpocalypse and uh, <laughs> SnowMG. And Snow, that that's a good one. All right, I thank know. you, Sven. Uh, we love SnowMG. Like okay. Well, hey, shirtless spectators, sideline antics.